Hi, I'm Perry Shoemaker. I qualify for the 2020 Olympic Marathon Trials. I'm a full-time preschool teacher. I'm married. I have three daughters, 20, 18, and 11. And I will be achievement shy of 49 years old on race day. My mileage is usually from 50 to 70 miles a week. I've run all of my life to stay in shape because I love to run. And I didn't start really racing until I was 40 years old. My daughters have been racing before that and I kind of got a little bit of inspiration from them and I've been racing ever since. Pretty much every time I raced, I would get faster and faster. Then I did the 2012 Marine Corps Marathon and I placed fourth. We didn't actually know how fast Perry was because she hadn't been a younger competitive athlete. One of the other finishers, I think it was the fifth age finisher, asked her, are you going to try to qualify for the Olympic trials? As soon as we realized how good she was getting and how rapidly, I thought it was very doable. She just needed something to train off of because I think she was just going outside every day and starting to run. When she started racing the local race series, she it really just clicked and Perry did it every darn weekend. Boston from 2013, 2014. This was the first attempt at the trial, 115 time. Marine Corps Marathon, 2016. Used in 2018, fastest by far. Just the training for an elite marathon training program that ramped up past 70 miles a week while well, she would be injured just getting to that. Sometimes I don't listen to your body and the signals that it's giving you and it makes it a little bit worse. I've had a torn soleus muscle, plantar fasciitis, the IT band, the standard stuff. <laughs> By the time she got her injury last fall, I had kind of concluded, sure, this is her last big chance. John contacted Stephanie Bruce and Ben Bruce. So I had a lot of the base train done when I started working with Ben. And then I was like, well, what do you think if we move the marathon to the Eugene one at the end of April? So he really kind of tweaked my training to make it a little bit different than what I had been used to, but it helped get me ready for that race. The perfect day, perfect course, when in there healthy and feeling great. I kind of laid it out on the line. I'm glad that worked out. I was impressed, because I've always watched the Olympics, but I never imagined her crying for it. I feel like it hasn't sunk in because I'm like, wow, it's the Olympic trials, but also, of course, she'd be able to do that. She's my mom, she can do anything. She's always been, you know, my mom first and runner second for us. They grew up watching her change from someone that enjoyed going for a run as an adult and then they watched her become an elite athlete, setting goals, failing at them, uh, being resilient enough to figure your way back out of a defeat and to do better. Even if I'm injured, we're gonna go. It's about being there at such a historic race. To have my family there, have my daughters there. I'm definitely gonna be competitive. I wanna go in there strong and healthy and run the best race that I can race. And it's always so cool to see the, like, the top runners like, of today racing and having my mom start on the start line with them. I know I'm not going to qualify, but it's going to be a neat thing, and I get to be part of that at 40, almost 49 years old. Thrilled that she's qualifying for the Olympic trials. I kind of hope that maybe she just retires from marathoning and merely enjoys being one of the best amateur half marathoners in the country. That being said, I, I fully expect she'll pick another marathon down the road and do it. A lot of people have been telling me that, well, you're kind of inspiring me to run. And I think if you're working towards making yourself better and becoming better at anything you do, that's something that's worthy of being inspiring to others.